It's a map that tells you where celebrities have incited in New York or Los Angeles and soon will be expanding to Vegas and South Beach. Anytime you want, you can scroll around and see, you know, Jude Law was shopping for condoms at Dwayne Reed on 57th. So people or are out there and they can post a message to us and say, Kristen Bell and her kid are at the 4 p.m. showing of How to Train Your Dragon at the Arclight. And it goes right on our map instantly. So that when Kristen Bell and her kid come out of the movies, there are a dozen sociopaths waiting for them. <laughs> I don't think that's likely. Why not? Well, uh, it's the price of fame, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a punishment for it. Celebrities have been stalked and celebrities have been murdered. What this app is best at is assisting in that, right? I'm sorry you feel that way. AC Engage is citizen journalism. Can you talk about the vetting process the citizen journalism undergoes? The vetting? People can post more than locations, they can post observations. That's right. I'm asking if those posts are fact-checked. This is one specific element of the For site. For instance, in a post today, a citizen journalist tells us that Jimmy Kimmel was visibly intoxicated last night at the Soho House in West Hollywood. That's right. Jimmy Kimmel was with his family in Cabo San Lucas last night. Uh, you know, people don't read this with the expectation of it being true. Everyone, Excuse me? <laughs> everyone... People don't have an expectation that what they're reading is true? They read it for the immediacy. But you're using the word journalism. Which means there is an expectation that what they're reading is true. But let me take it a step further. Let's pretend it was true. That Jimmy Kimmel was intoxicated last night at the Soho House in West Hollywood. It's not true, but we don't care, so let's pretend that it is, since that's what we're doing anyway. Why does that belong on our website? Leave her on as long as she wants. Honestly, I think there is a shifting definition of what's public and private space. There is, and we should care about that. But my question is, why should we care about a talk show host drinking at a bar? Don't you think it's great that we're not putting people up on a pedestal and worshipping them anymore? I don't think celebrities are one of the bigger problems facing us, but aren't we the ones building the pedestal? We've got a map that gives us their location. The idea is that we're acknowledging that they're real people. I wonder how many of us didn't already know that, but you're doing more than acknowledging they're real people. You're beating them up for it. Aren't they protected by the piles of money they're surrounded by? Okay, what's the line of demarcation? You make over X dollars a year, and now you get to be treated by us as a regular person who's basically had an electronic bracelet slapped on their ankle. What does X equal? It would be silly to name an exact dollar amount. You're paid $55,000 a year. Well, that's private. <laughs> Sorry, that's almost twice the national average for a family of four. Do your piles of cash protect you from this interview in which I'm intentionally stripping you of your dignity? And by the way, I've managed to do it without lying once. So I'm going to give you another chance to answer my question before I answer it myself. What's the value of an unsourced, unbedded story about a grown man drinking at a bar? I can't give you all the time in the world. It's entertainment. My concern isn't for the celebrities, even though as sure as we're sitting here, someone's gonna get hurt. My concern's for the rest of us, who you're turning into a wild pack of prideless punks.